What is going on guys? Welcome to your 10th FL Studio tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a MIDI keyboard to use with FL Studio. Now the first thing that you need to do before you go to any of these settings is you need to install the keyboard itself so it's compatible with your computer and the only thing you need to do in order to do this is just install the driver. Now there are a couple different ways that you do this depending on which keyboard you bought it may just come with a CD that you pop into your computer press next 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 it's good to go another thing that you may have to do is go to the website um, like Yamaha or Casio whatever uh, keyboard you got and then you install the driver from there download it whatever but typically if you have a newer operating system as soon as you plug the USB cord in from your keyboard to your computer it's gonna recognize it and it's gonna install a basic driver so that's what I did from this keyboard right here I just plugged it in and my computer is like alright you plug something in we're installing the driver you're good to go so it's very simple so that depends on again whenever you get your keyboard just look at the instructions and that's gonna give you the installation instructions so once your keyboard is installed now what we have to do is we need to enable it in FL Studio or make it compatible so this is how you do that up in options go to MIDI settings and you can also just click F10 if you're feeling pretty lazy now these outputs right here are irrelevant right now the input is what we're worried about these are pretty much our all of the external things such as our electronic keyboard that we want FL Studio to recognize so make sure that you have whatever you just installed your MIDI keyboard and hit enable and you know that it's enabled because it says on and this thing is gold right now so now you can go ahead and close it and you can test it out by just hitting some keys on your keyboard and you should be able to hear it in FL Studio so how freaking sweet is that so now you're saying alright so I can tap this crap and you know it plays I can hear it through FL Studio not that cool what I'm concerned with is how to record my music using FL Studio so this is how you do that the first thing that you should do is open your piano roll and now go ahead and delete these notes because I'm gonna go ahead and start with a blank piano roll and instead of just right clicking here's a little short tip you can also hit this button right here and this is the select button now if you go ahead and drag a bunch of notes at once you can hit delete on your keyboard and it deletes multiple notes at once so once you're done with that make sure to click the draw button again and you're back to the draw button so now like I said there are two different ways that you can make notes in the piano roll you can just click it with your mouse or like I said we're gonna be learning how to record with your MIDI keyboard now that it's set up so before I start recording I want to show you guys this make sure that you have this three two one selected now if it's selected it's gonna give you a countdown so instead of just hitting record and then you automatically have to start playing real quick this is gonna give you a four beat countdown and then you start right there so again always make sure that you have this now you're saying okay how do I record well it's easy go ahead and press this record button right here and once you press it this pop-up is gonna appear make sure you press automation and score and now you see that the record button is active now whenever you press play it's gonna give you that four beat countdown and as soon as the countdown ends you're gonna start recording and whatever you press on your MIDI keyboard it's gonna record in the piano roll so let me go ahead and get my hand ready and I'm and make sure see my mouse is right here so I'm not hitting any notes so I'm gonna go ahead and press spacebar right now on my computer Rock me, baby. and now press stop whenever you're done and now you can see that as soon as you press stop all of the information that was captured during that recording session is now appearing on my piano roll right here now the cool thing about this is whenever you go ahead and play it Eric it records the entire thing so you can just you know play it again Rock me, baby. alright so now we can go ahead and get rid of that countdown because we aren't recording anymore Rock me, baby. alright pretty sweet but now I'm looking at this and I'm like wow 
I thought I was a great piano player, but it turns out I'm not. I held that E note too long, and, you know, maybe I wanted to do, you know, play a different note here. Maybe I wanted to play G instead of E. So I'm like, you know what, I either can record it again, or I can just go back and edit it all. So I'm going to go ahead and change this, shorten it up, and I'm going to move this up to G. <coughs> Excuse me, I got whooping cough. So that's the awesome thing about playing a uh, MIDI keyboard over your song recording. You can play it in real life, and you know, if you're a musician, it may be a lot easier than trying to hit every single note. And also, if you say that, you know what, this is a sweet pattern, but I only want to change one note, you don't have to record the entire thing again. You can just go and edit it with a computer or fix any of your mistakes manually. So now, again, rock me, baby. How awesome is that? So now we combined the ease of playing it in real life with the ability to perfect it or edit it on the computer. So that is why MIDI keyboards are awesome. And again, like I said, it's really easy to set up. Just install it, make sure that it's enabled, and then you're pretty much good to go. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and more crap. That's going to be awesome in the next video. So, again, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and I'll see you next time.